think this Desnetico's relationship with Jerry Williams and all the romance was the most publicized Nollywood relationship so far. I mean, it was with, between, I think, 2019 to 2020. It was so publicized. The romance was in our faces. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about all the Nollywood boys that Destiny Tico has dated. Or do I say men? I mean, this is not even hidden, but let's just go on. The first person on the list definitely is Jerry. I mean, you all know Jerry Williams now. Between that 2019 and 20 and 2020 to 2021, it was so in our faces that they didn't even have to say. Apart from the speculations, they were giving us, um, you know, that vibe. First of all, check this and look at the hand and where the hand went to and then check if this is actually just a, a colleague or friendship type of relationship. Meanwhile, before this video, let me tell you how they got this video. This video was at a, at, um, a movie set. The movie is in Beji Goes to School. It's more like a comedy movie. You should check it on her channel. He actually came to the movie. Bef that, that was before the movie started. Over here. So he, she was welcoming him. And look at how she welcomed him. This was not inside a film. This was reality. So this this was from a movie set. Now let's talk about these two people. The, ru the rumor was already everywhere. Then they decided to help us confirm it. I think that was on, on her birthday. Check this video out. That's Netico's birthday. Meanwhile, there is actually a, a kind of silent war there. There were two men spraying money. Yes, let's talk about that one. That one is also Destinetico's ex. I don't know if they are trying to get into her life again, but th that was more like um, let's say battle. Yes, a battle of two men. One was spraying 500 naira, but the 500 wasn't much. The other was spraying 200 naira, but it was much. If you notice, yes, that second person which Destinetico dated in 20 early this year yes in 2021 to early this year and unfortunately they broke up is the one we call dr success john dr success is also into nollywood just that he's more of a direct director so he only shows up you know little by little that's why we don't know him that much he's a director he's he's actually very rich he's a ceo and he does a lot he does quite a lot and he's very young too his age will definitely surprise you I think that he's handsome, although I am not into fair men. I'm not into light-skinned men. But they dated early 2021 to late 2021 to early 2022. And on his birthday, Desinetico actually said this one by herself. Oh, she posted it on, on his birthday. She bought him a car. And this was actually the car, by the way. I mean, it was an SUV a prado jeep you, you definitely know that this car is running into millions and you will not you will not let me say you will not be shocked anyways by the caption that she followed the car with read this with me she said as a successful and caring lady i decided to buy a gift for my successful man love and car and sun shine emoji who they check him who they dare <laughs> enjoy my little precious gift darling happy birthday the successful man dr success john um look at the birthday gift now uh -uh, who they check him look at birthday gift <laughs> so this was how we knew that they were together but unfortunately they broke up yes and we haven't heard of them since then 
I think they later decided to just be friends. You know, I think I think that these type of people are so very uh, they are very matured. Even when even after breakup, they will not like beef each other like some of us would block our exes and all. Mm -hmm. Because they became friends when Destiny was shooting her moving, but she goes to school. In this video, as you can see, he brought her a lot of goodies. They would spray money on each other during um uh during their birthdays. He didn't mind. You understand? Plus, the man is super rich. He's not even a poor person or maybe a trying person. But I think they just didn't work out. Maybe Destiny to go was too dramatic. You know, she's a drama doll. Or maybe something, probably infidelity. Or, or maybe they are just not, in, uh, not compatible. Yes, and that was how that relationship ended. So the next person, definitely, you know this one. This one was around 2018. We thought they were even going to get married. 2018 to 2019. Yes, before Jerry Williams showed up. It was Zuby Michael, guys. Zuby was everywhere. Every but honestly, we thought these people were actually silently already married, and they were just keeping it away from us, not knowing that they were actually dating, and just that um the relationship didn't work. Um, uh, <laughs> like Zuby Michael was everywhere. I think there was one time like that. The rumor really went viral when a video of them, you know, in bed leaked, and. Let me look at this picture. Yes, this was the picture. I don't know what happened. The, vi the video is no longer on the internet. A video of them leaked and <laughs> they, they, I don't know, they went silent. And by the time they would come out from their silence, they stopped being together. And Jerry, just, you know, Destiny is the type of person that will always, you know, she's beautiful. She will always have a man. And Destiny was already there. But Destiny definitely dated Destiny. To, um, Zuby Michael. She dated Zuby Michael and I thought that was the most stable relationship she had. And so it didn't go well. Zuby Michael is I think 37 or 38. And um, Destiny just clocked 30, right? 30 or 31. So their age difference is still very much. Their age difference is much. I think I love this how you guys do your yeah, girl so Destiny 80. Said about Destiny Tico's love life. Yeah, Destiny, in case you want to know more about Destiny Tico. Yes, Nettico started acting around 20, around 2013. Yeah, she had been acting before then, but she only showed up a little. So she went back to finish her school and then she came back. She's from Enugu, yeah. She's from Enugu and she's a, she's a graduate of, uh, of theater arts. Yes, Nettico is actually very beautiful. She's a brand ambassador, an actress. Her, you should go to her YouTube channel to check out her movies. She's very, very good at what she does. She, that's all about Destiny Tico, guys. If you want to talk about Destiny Tico, you will talk, talk, talk. You know, go tired. <laughs> Thank you, guys, for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Video. Bye. Bye.